Hello, welcome, welcome back. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Lisa. This vlog is all about my recent stay in Dubai at the Five Palm Jumeirah Beach and the Nikki Beach Resort and Spa. I have two videos on those two hotels if you want to go check those out before um, you watch this one if you are planning a vacation in Dubai or trying to check out those hotels. So in this vlog, I'm going to be comparing the two, kind of giving our pros and cons, which one we liked more, which we would go back to if we ever did go back kind of just like our whole feel. I hope that you get some good takeaway from this video if you are trying to plan a vacation to Dubai. So I wanted to start off this video by really um, just saying that this is our opinion only. You might feel a completely different way about these resorts. You might have completely different needs for your vacation. So please just take this video with a grain of salt and maybe it'll be helpful to you and maybe you just you'll have to check it out for yourself so um, don't mind me if I'm looking down at a few points because I did have a whole notes document written because I really didn't want to miss anything and sometimes you know can't hold too much information at once I wanted to break it down into five different segments five segments that I really do look for when booking a vacation because you're spending the money, you're taking the time, you really want it to be something that is really going to be worth it for you. And these are the five categories that I really pay attention to when I look at hotels. So first is location. Second is amenities. Third is food and beverage. Fourth is customer service. And five is cleanliness and overall aesthetic. So I'll go through this whole video kind of in those five parts. Let's get into part one, location. One of the main reasons why during our stay in Dubai, we decided to stay at two different resorts was to kind of get the feel of the palm, the area of the palm and the area outside of the palm, kind of away from all of the hustle and bustle and kind of be secluded a little bit. So. Our first say was at the Five Palm Jumeirah Beach. This location is at the very beginning part of the Palm. So once you drive into the Palm, you are kind of at the hotel. Honestly, if you're trying to stay at the Palm, I would say stay at somewhere a little bit further out onto the Palm because in my opinion, you really don't get the credit or the feel that you're on an island, so-called. You really isn't like a big, vast ocean. It is of other buildings, some construction. So I think, in my opinion, if you're going to try to stay on the Palm and get the feel of the island-like feel, then I would suggest to maybe stay somewhere else. That being said, the location was really nice for someone that really doesn't want to drive 45 minutes onto the palm and then if you ever did want to go into the city one night or check out a different area it's very convenient um, in that way and it was maybe a 20 minute uber into the city to a restaurant it was also walking distance to certain places so the location in that part was pretty good for the nikki beach resort this resort was a little bit further away from the Palm, kind of in its own area. And if you watch my previous video on the Nikki Beach Resort, you'll see that it kind of has its own little community, its own little private beach. So you can't really walk anywhere, but it is 20 minutes from the airport and 20 minutes to the Dubai Mall, the Burj Khalifa. So the location, is a bit secluded but it is very convenient to get to certain places both hotels were under 30 minutes to the airport so that also was very key for us 
we're not the type of people that like to get to our vacation and then sit in a car ride for over an hour to get to our hotel. We like to get there and get to the hotel and relax. So that was really nice for both of the resorts. Okay. Part two, the amenities. So looking for amenities on a beach-like location, I would say I look for the pool, the beach, the gym is one of my top things that I look for and just kind of what the hotel has to offer because I really like to go somewhere and kind of just like be there. So if you're a pool person, the Five Palm has three pools. Two of the pools were a little bit more lively as you can see in my previous video. They do have pool parties, they do have DJs every day. So if you're not really looking for that, they do have another pool away from the party areas. Um, which I wish my husband and I found earlier during our stay there. But in any case, they do have three pools for you to check out. And um, Nikki Beach has two pool options. One, again, more relaxed, chilled, and then the beach club. I would say I would prefer the Nikki Beach pool as it is directly on the resort, um, kind of around everything. You have beach views from the pool area, but that's also my feel. If you prefer more lively vibe during your pool days, then totally go with Five Palm. If you're a beach person, both beaches were very nice. The Five Palm Beach, um, it was beautiful. It had beautiful day beds. Uh, that if you're staying there, you can use. They had a sandy beach, very clean. The only thing that really kind of put me off was that you did have nice city views, but you also did have some construction views, um, I guess that they were building on the Palm. And for me, that kind of isn't very relaxing on vacation. So that was one thing that really kind of turned me off. But nonetheless, the beach was super beautiful. They had the nice big lounge chairs. All in all, the beach was very nice. Nikki Beach, it definitely was a smaller beach. As I mentioned, it was more of a private beach and we did go at kind of like an off season time. So I think that we were able to get a chair and relax, but I think maybe during high season, it might be a little bit more difficult. But nonetheless, it itself was really, really nice. Um, you can just see out into the ocean. Both beaches provided towels, umbrellas, food and beverage services, even water sports. If you're into that type of thing, you can rent jet skis or go paddle boarding. They had everything that you can imagine. So that's really cool. So too. if you're a gym person, both resorts have really nice gyms. Both provide personal training. I know Five Palm, you can schedule an EMS training. Uh, Nikki Beach, they had Pilates on water one day that I was super bummed that I missed out on. Both provided really great amenities for gym goers, but in my opinion, Nikki Beach's gym was way more practical. Um, it was very open. You didn't have to wait if a machine was being used or find a certain area if you wanted to just go on the floor and do some floor work. Say the floor work area in Five Palm is very small and it was just way too hot to do it outside. So definitely Nikki Beach kind of checked the boxes on that part. For spas, salons, shopping, both resorts had all of that. Um, I was not able to try any of the spas or the salons, so I can't give you an honest review about those, but I'm sure they were beautiful, just like the rest of their hotels. Moving on to part three, which is food and beverage. This is also super important for me because when going on vacation, I really like to look for places that have a variety, that have healthy options, just something that I'm excited to try. So this is also a key category. So both locations had really good food. I did not have a bad meal either, but I would have to say that Five Palm definitely takes the cake on this one. 
They had maybe four or five restaurants. I wasn't able to try all of them. They also did provide a half board or full board option. We actually did the half board because it just kind of made sense because they had so many restaurants to try where breakfast is included and then you can either go with a lunch or dinner also included for the day. I think even if you did all inclusive at this resort, you wouldn't be disappointed because they have so many options. They have restaurants, they have bakeries, um, room service, of course, they have beach service, everything. And Nikki Beach, they had, they did not provide the half board or full board option, but they do include breakfast. So that's really nice. Something to not have to worry about. But I would have to say they only had two restaurants on location and I'm pretty sure that the menu was the same for all of them. So while they did have really great food and really great options, I wish that maybe there would be one more additional location just because it is in a secluded area. So we did end up going out to eat for I think every night that we were there just because we didn't feel like having the same meals over and over again. But nonetheless, the food was great at both. I would just say Five Palm definitely takes the cake on this one. Part four is customer service. Now, this isn't something that you can look at before you book where you're staying. So honestly, like I like to look at reviews and watch YouTube videos and just kind of see how people got on during their vacation and how they felt they were being treated. Um, I don't know if it's because I have a customer service background. I, I was working in the customer service industry for so many years and I just know how much more enjoyable an experience is and how much more you want to go back to those places if the customer service is good and you know, you don't have a bad taste in your mouth. Both locations very good customer service. I really honestly do not have a bad thing to say about either. I would say though that Nikki Beach kind of went above and beyond here. One or two things really stood out to me. One being that they refilled your water bottles because you had, you would have like a cooler almost in between your lounge chairs or your beach chair um, every time you were in the pool area and they would come and very punctual. They would notice if you didn't have any left or if you still had some, but the ice in your cooler was melting and they would refill your cooler with water bottles. To me, that's something that's really great because A, it's super hot and you don't want your guests getting dehydrated as that's really dangerous. And B, it's just something that, you know, you're thinking about your guests. You're thinking about their well-being and making sure that they're content and they're having a nice relaxing vacation. I'd also like to mention that these waters that were being refilled were free. So at the Five Palm, I mean, I maybe it was just because we were half board and we weren't full board, but you did have to keep ordering and ordering waters, which in my opinion, it's something that is really nice to give to your guests when they're spending all this money already at your resort. We've reached point number five, and that's overall cleanliness and aesthetic. So cleanliness is obviously super important to everyone. You don't wanna to go to a dingy hotel. Both resorts were super clean, super tidy, can't say anything bad about either. I think it might just be a Dubai thing. I mean, I know their standards are super high there and you know, it's just class, honestly. I think you can't really go wrong with either if that's something that you feel super strong about. Um, and then aesthetic, both really beautiful. You kind of get more of a Tulum, chill, relaxing vibe from Nikki Beach and then Five Palm is more extravagant. Um, I really did feel like I was in like a different part of the world. It's really beautiful and everything was like super ornate and just unique. In my opinion, I like to be more relaxed. <laughs> so Nikki Beach kind of checked off that box, but I, Five Palm really, really, really is beautiful. 
marble everywhere it's different flowers it's it's really a beautiful hotel so in conclusion just to tie up this whole video we probably would prefer to go back and stay at the nikki beach resort i really honestly loved the both five palm was really beautiful and i really don't have anything bad to say about the hotel if you are going for a party weekend with your girlfriends or on a bachelorette or guy friends totally would suggest going there because you really do have a great time it was just me and my husband so we just were looking for something very relaxing that's not to say we didn't enjoy the music um, sometimes but yeah we would definitely go back to the nikki beach resort we would probably check out the five jamaira village i heard that was really nice as well and they had really nice affinity pools and brooms, so I would definitely check out that resort as well. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you join me for my next one. Please do consider subscribing because that really helps me create more content for you. Bye, guys.